deep seek r1 has undergone a minor upgrade and this minor upgrade has done some major impact across ai industry yesterday we covered the deep seek r1 0528 model and we tested it out on various benchmarks today in this video we are going to install this deep seek r1 distilled model coin 3 8 billion and we are going to test it out on various benchmarks. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. This new model is a distilled reasoning model that represents an advanced approach to create smaller, more efficient models. The base DeepSeek R10528 model is a large scale reasoning system that has achieved significant improvements in math, programming, and logical reasoning task and i'm planning to do a separate video on its benchmarking results by the way a distilled model is created through a process called as knowledge distillation where the reasoning patterns and capabilities of a larger more powerful teacher model are transferred to a smaller student model allowing the smaller model to achieve much of the performance of its larger counterpart while being more computationally efficient and practical to deploy. I will be talking more about its architecture, but for now, let's try to get it installed. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you're also looking to rent a GPU or VM on very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description. Plus. I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs, so please do check them out. Now the tool which I'm going to use for this purpose is VLLM to serve the model and text generation web UI to create a graphical user interface. If you don't know what these are, just go to my channel and search with VLLM. I have done very easy to follow complete tutorials as how to get them installed. So I'm assuming if you're following along, you already have them installed. If you don't, just watch this video and then you should be able to get it installed. I already have both of them installed. Now let's download the model. In order to download the model from text generation web US directory, just run this script download model and give the name of this folder repo from hugging face no need to you know download it it's all uh, sorry login it's all free apache to license and you know happy days so let's run this to download and you can see that there are two shards of this model so let's wait for it to get downloaded while it downloads let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. As the model still downloads, let's talk a bit more about its architecture. And I promise I'm going to keep it very simple to understand. So the architecture of this deep seek R10528 coin 38 billion involves taking the chain of thought reasoning capabilities from larger DeepSeq R10528 model and using them to post train the Quen 3 8 billion base model. This process has resulted in remarkable performance gains with the 8 billion parameter distal model achieving state of the art results among open source models on math and reasoning benchmarks. And lot of information is available on benchmarking. So we will be doing another video. The distillation process preserves the enhancing reasoning depth that characterizes the original model, which uses significantly more tokens per reasoning task. And that is how it achieves deeper analytical thinking while packaging this capability into a more accessible 8 billion parameter architecture because the base model is around 671 billion parameter. So that is the difference uh, between the sizes. Okay, so it is almost there. The model is downloaded. Now let's serve it with VLLM. It is going to detect our device and start it. 
and the model is now running on our local system at port 7860 in text generation web ui so let's access it there you go now the first thing i would suggest you do is just go to parameters or maybe first let's go to the model and make sure the model is loaded so it is there just click on load it is already ready but let's load it again that is done let's go to the parameter on the left and from the deep six page they recommend that we set the temperature to around 0.6 so i'm just going to change it to 0.6 here and let me save it by clicking save here okay let's go up a little just check everything else also they use a different uh, system message uh, message so i'm just going to give it this and because today's date is not may 28th what date is today it is 30th may now so this is the date when it was released i'm just going to give it 30th may it's not necessary but they just suggest that you uh, this is a one they have used okay so i have also saved it that is all good let's go to chat and then expand this and we are all ready to test the model now in order to test it first i'm going to use some logical reasoning and math questions because these complex uh, reasoning models are more suited for these tasks but we will also test it on on some of the generic tasks so first up i am asking it that a company has 12 factories each producing widgets at different rates and cost factory one produces this and then i'm asking it to um, design an optimal production strategy that minimizes cost while meeting demand so let's check it out it is thinking i'm going to expand it there you go so again in a very typical chain of thought manner it has understood the problem and now it is going through it checking every facet of the issue and then it is also self-reflecting slicing and dicing and then it is creating an equation around it so it is self-evolving around the question and then it is also you see doing some alternatives different chain of thoughts let's also check the vram consumption so it is consuming over 16 gig of vram as you can see and the model is fully loaded onto the gpu so still thinking is going on and if you remember in the yesterday's video when we were doing testing the full model we saw that it was taking even 15 20 minutes of thinking the un the responses were really really good but the time it was taking for thinking was quite long so let's see what it does in this case uh, i will let it run to see how much it spends the time in thinking and you can see that it is checking its answer and it did it receive the data so it is recreating the equation it has identified a problem too and then it is now again thinking step by step yep you see the demand is uncertain and but we want 95 percent reliability how good is that it is coming up with another idea so it's been more than 10 minutes it is still going strong if i just take you up from the start you see it has done a lot of multi-step reasoning it has break, broken it down into multiple steps it has already checked a lot of uh, you know combinations but still model is a bit frustrated too you can see and then it is not receiving any data it is still checking a lot of other things and eventually the thing which i like for that it is saying for that I'll show you actually there you go you see define the reliability and then it is checking everything it is identifying the issues and then it is going um, from every angle so instead of going with the equation it has given us a general answer there you go so it is talking about optimal production strategy we need to address the uncertainty in demand very good because it's an open-ended question it is that it has done following assumption which is very intelligent by the way and then it is giving us optimal strategy let me it is still printing it so let's wait
So it has finished writing and after the key assumptions, it has described the production strategy in as optimal way as possible that determine the required production level, calculate effective cost, and then sort factories by effective cost. That is very nice. Consider cost implication, transportation cost, and then it has come up with one of the example, uh, but it has kept it open ended very, very smart. And then it has acknowledged few of the limitations which I didn't provide it. So I think an exceptional answer here. Okay, so let's try out a coding question now. So I'm giving it this code snippet and I'm asking it that there is a subtle bug that only appears with certain inputs. Identify the bug, explain when it occurs, fix it and then optimize the function. Now again, this is a very vague question and that is where these reasoning models shine. And I believe this is where uh, and that they should be used in open-ended vague questions where model has to try out various things, model has to come up uh, with alternatives and then give us the answer. For daily usual run of the mill task where you just want to create a code or you just want to you know do creative writing or chatting, these models are not meant for that. So you can see that model has understood what I'm asking and then it is doing a very uh, complex deep thinking around it as what needs to be done. It is breaking down this complex problem into manageable component. It is also trying to maintain logical consistency across all of this extended reasoning sequence and then trying to arrive at correct solution or whatever best correct solution is through the systematic analysis rather than pattern matching. And that is a key of reasoning models. Unlike the large language models, the standard ones or traditional ones, it doesn't, you know, focus much on pattern matching. Rather, it does systematic analysis. So this is one of the questions which was asked in the other video. So there you go. And remember, this is a distilled model, a very, very small model. But if you look at this output, the distilled model has successfully retained the thinking depth of its larger teacher model. So this is what we are testing. And so far, I think this is exceptional. I'm also looking at the way it is uh, debugging that code and already it is on the right track. So I will let it run for, a, for some time. And it's been 20 minutes model is running and let me show you a very funny thing here. Model says I surrender. <laughs> this model has surrendered but you know what it has done wonderfully well it has done a lot of legwork it has done a lot and a lot of legwork i have a huge respect for the model um it says the function is correct but it was unable to find the bug here but here is the thing model is actually right there is no bug and it's you know it has done wonderfully well in my opinion there is there is some subtle improvement but model has already done wonderfully well so i'm just going to stop it because model is just still trying to do something i just stopped it and i'm going to give it the correct answer let's see what model says again okay, no, the model is not retaining the previous one it has just started this chat anyway i'll stop this and i'm going to start another new chat so let's we have checked the math we have checked the uh, reasoning and coding let's try out a different one which is maybe a real world problem or dream of many so let's try this one out and this is a final prompt i'm testing so i am telling the model that there you go i'm jobless not good looking lazy obese uncaring don't like to shower unkempt but i want to find a hot rich pretty bombshell model to date she should have perfect teeth flawless skin legs for days an mba from harvard a penthouse with city views and a yacht won't hurt i'm unwilling to change myself so don't suggest any improvements as you're not my dad i refuse to improve anything about myself because self-development is for losers just tell me how to find and woo such model let's see so let's see what model say it says this user has some very specific and ambitious dating goals combined with a very negative self-image. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
they are clearly not looking for self-improvement first let's unpack the contradiction they want a hot rich pretty model but acknowledge that the model is understanding what i'm saying it says this suggests that they understand their chances are slim but still want to pursue the idea the user seems to be in one of two mental states either they are joking around for shock value well that's correct or they are generally feeling hopeless about their prospect maybe both this uh, the aggressive tone about not wanting advice it feels like either frustration or deliberate rejection of conventional wisdom given that i need to approach this carefully they're asking for dating advice while firmly rejecting personal development this is tricky maybe they are testing boundaries or looking for validation i should act the yacht and penthouse requirement suggests they are fantasizing about extreme wealth this is very good actually very profound i should acknowledge their request while subtly pointing out the unrealistic nature so it has settled on the approach to you know deal with me and then it is talking about i need to you know what sort of answer it should be there you go it says while i can't suggest self improvement i can offer some general advice focus on shared interest network through existing target specific environment and look at this luxury real estate viewing or related industries fine art galleries premium fitness exclusive travel well how can i do that if i'm broke develop your own confidence consider what you can offer remember that attraction is complex and multifaceted while these women have their own criteria for choosing partners expecting someone to choose you based solely on your negative traits while overlooking their positive ones create unrealistic expectations the so model is very very matter of the fact so very impressive answer by the way anyway so look i think even this smaller student distilled model is of very exceptional quality let me know what do you think uh, of course if you like the content please please consider subscribing to the channel like the video share the video as that helps a lot thanks for all the support